Well, is evolving, and I'm just thinking, I'd love to, just, and you can stay for this discussion, of course, but I think we just, while it's fresh in everybody's mind, I just want to have the conversation follow up from that presentation. Yeah, I don't mind at all. I, I'll sure? do it for the committee, and okay. uh, as long as I can work it in my schedule, I have no problem with that whatsoever. Thanks. That's a huge help. Um, and of course, you're more than welcome to stay for this discussion. We're just, I think it's just worth taking 10 or 15 minutes before we adjourn and just see if there's anything else that anybody else wants to say or or add to the conversation. But uh, what you all put together was was really helpful. And I think it's it's a it's definitely a great starting point. I will I will stay here and listen in. If you have questions great. for me or clarification, just let me know. Great. Thanks a million. You're welcome. It was a great presentation, Jay. It really was. It really was. Well done. Yeah. Is it snowing up north like it is down here? It it feels like it snows every day. I know. It is. It's been a great winter that way, at least in my opinion. It's just been beautiful. Did um, you get a lot of snow, Senator? It's been snowing... Uh, all day, we're pro I think we're expecting it, you know, another six inches when it's all said and done. Um, we have about six now. Yeah. All together. Yeah. On the ground. Yeah. From this morning. From this From morning. Yeah. Morning. That's that, I think that's what we have. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's beautiful. Um, Jay, can I just say one thing to Jay? Please. Um, I saw you uh, commenting on the news the other night. Um, I think it was Channel 3. And you did a terrific job. It was really well done. Talking yeah, I, about don't, I don't know what I was commenting on, but thank I, you. You know, I'm trying to remember. I think it was about kids and getting them back um, back to school. And maybe it was about getting, uh, it was, it was just really very well done. Uh, you were talking about a lot of some of the things we talked about today. Thank but, you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And my husband was watching and he was also impressed. So that's really good. <laughs> that's a high standard i'm glad to hear that you're right it is <laughs> thank you okay so uh <clears throat> mr nichols has kindly agreed to uh postpone he'll come back and, and talk to us about literacy we thought maybe just for the last uh 10 15 minutes of the day um we could just see if there's anything anybody wants to add uh to what we've learned, any, any kind of general thoughts? Um, I can just tell you, you know, my plan to mention to uh, Senator Kitchell is, is what we, we outlined, you know, um, you know, are there ways for the Agency of Education and DCF to partner? Um, and partly this will be conversations with, with these folks, those folks as well, but, you know, to, to look at issues of mental health, um, also look at issues separate from that, uh, loan forgiveness, um, well, the standards boards in to look at licensure. Um, but, you know, we want to make sure that kids this summer aren't hungry, you know, they're not suicidal, they're not, you know, they're, uh, they're, um, they're getting, you know, what, what they need. Um, Senator Hooker, what do you think? I mean, is that, I mean, again, we'll have the agency in, but I want to give Jane something, you know, again, from a starting point. And this sounds like, a, you know, a good one. And, and, you know, mental health services, another big thing, and I'll look to Senator Lyons on this, you know, how do we, what, what would we do? How would we sort of um, push that out? But Senator Hooker, please. Well, uh, my first thought is those are all things that we need to do. I mean, yeah, right, right, right. Um, pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, but my, and I know that because of the pandemic, we've learned that we can pivot quickly and get things done. And yeah. so I guess my um, question would be, you know, how can we do this and have it stood up by summer so that it's going to have an effect, you know, for these kids? Um, what can we do it re realistically by summer? to um, affect these changes. And I'm, I'm particularly concerned with, again, the workforce. I mean, we keep going back to yeah. the workforce. Do we have enough people to staff the, the types of things that you know, we're looking at? I mean, I, I think um, Julie, Julie Moorhouse and uh, the yeah. you know, Vermont after school, the third place, whatever, uh, is a really good place to build on. 
but um, you know, we need to know that we can do this in a timely fashion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think one of the other things people, some folks mentioned was, uh, you know, are there, are there high school students that can do some of these kinds of things? Uh, there are a need for summer jobs always in this state. Um, and are there ways to get those students engaged in tutoring, um, outreach, athletics, that kind of thing? And of course, a lot of this is contingent upon um, what the status of vaccinations is, et cetera. You know, and the other piece that I, I'll be interested in hearing, you know, where I think, uh, and I look to you, Center Alliance, on this, you know, I feel like the agency or uh, Department of Health has been so good with social media, educating people. Are there ways to part for them to educate parents? Again, I'm just thinking of some personal things that I've heard from parents, kids feeling depressed, you know, not, you know, you know, just going through this, it is hard. And are there ways for us to, you know, partner with DCF, Department of Health, AOE to say, hey, this is what, here are some of the things you might be thinking about for the summer, you know, keep an eye on this, read, get kids to libraries, you know, all that sort of thing. You're muted, Senator. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, sure, you know, I think you, you need to, we need to know what the message is yeah, and yeah. Um, sort of strategize. I think, I think the group needs to be brought together with a specific um, task of developing the social media message. Yeah. A, a lot of that, is, you know, I think some of that is already happening, but um, I'm not sure. I think it would it would also include the after school hub, you know, the hubs that we have developed mm -hmm. after school program, um, uh, department of health, certainly. And yeah. then some of the uh, associations that we've had here today, but it, 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 and then, and then some of our mental health experts, but it's, you can't just send a message out. <laughs> yeah, right, you know, right, right. But right. I agree with you. We, I think we could help it's pull, really pull, a good pull, idea yeah. to, you know, yeah. to get to get that group of people who yeah. are not ordinarily together. Yeah. And then strategize about the best way um, to make that happen. Yeah, and we should have Holly back in to, to help us with some yes. of the school things. Senator Persley, I don't know if there's anything uh, that, I don't know if the after school group has met recently. And if, if this has, if you, this has been a topic of conversation. We, we've had three of our six meetings. Our next meeting is actually tomorrow, Wednesday. Okay. And we're, we're mainly working through how do you make a universal program and what's the best way to, to, to do that. But it, it, yeah, they're very similar issues. Yeah. After school, you know, connection to, to all this for sure. Okay. Um, anything, anything else? Uh, well, just while we're on after school, I am hoping, yep. but I hope it's kind of a tangential, but I am hoping that the, that, that, that task force that is charged with writing a report, but the report isn't going to come out till March, which is after crossover and kind of late yeah. for any action. So it seems like there is some consensus or maybe not consensus, but a majority of people have a have a, have a view on the way that could go. And so I was hoping if that becomes clear after the next meeting, we could maybe bring it to the committee just to talk about and see if there's possibility for action this year. So, you know, I, I, as you're as you're talking, um, there are a lot of things that can happen that don't need us, you know, don't require legislation. Um, given and also given that we're going to be seeing some federal funding um, for this there's, there's no question that there'll be federal funding for this that maybe it is simply a, an appropriate simply <laughs> but if if there are groups that are ready to go and have some planned work uh, supporting them i think is really would be very important so, I mean, yeah. rather than having to go through and write a whole string of legislative language, 
to maybe put this into one of our um, uh, federal funding bills. That's yeah. all. Yeah, I mean, are there groups ready to go, Senator Perslick? Would you say if, if, for example, they said, uh, Jane and others said, hey, listen, yeah, we could direct some of these funds. Well, definitely there's what, what we're now calling out of school. So, because sometimes it's just over the summer, which I think yeah. For this, so or after school or on in service learning days, all that. So, there are groups around the state that do that. There's a need for more. There's pop, there's a inequality or geographically, yeah, in income. So, but there are groups out there. Holly's group is trying to coordinate that statewide and then through a grant program, which they already set up. They've spent the money, they just need more money to do more of it. So, I would agree with Senator Lyons. Like, we, we don't need a lot of new legislation. We could, there's some stuff that could be helpful, but mainly it's a question of funding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? More oh, on that, there'll be more federal money because there's a federal after school program, the 21 21st century program, but uh, we're talking about maybe doing a different one just so you could have a, like, like this, like Holly's group has done the universal after school grant program to, to have a, uh, a different, different programs. So, you know, you have the school-based programs, you have like the YMCA and other community group-based programs that have all that a, uh, diversity of venues. But hopefully those be more of the federal grant and we can get some state money, maybe from federal money, but outside the 21C program. Uh, another way to think about this summer possibly, I'll just put it out there is, you know, should we, um, you know, similar to how we're talking about doing something to allow students greater access to higher education, should we think about, you know, using some of these one-time monies or propose that we use some of these one-time monies for um, access to after-school and summer programs? I mean, should a family get, you know, uh, you know, sh should we try to distribute some of those dollars so that students can take their money and go to the YMCA or go to you know uh, some kind of after school program or summer camp that they might not otherwise be able to. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. And you you could do that through the existing grant program because they think that they did that. You know, they could say you so you don't have to grant each family. And right, 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 right. You, know, you just say, hey, you run a program. Low income people are going to be able to come for free. Or low and medium income. Yep because cost is definitely a barrier to families. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll mention that as well. Okay, anything else? Uh, Mr. Nichols, thanks again for being with us and spending so much time, really appreciate it. We will look forward to, to having you back. And then uh, committee members, uh, unless there's something else, um, hope you all have a, a good afternoon. Uh, yes, uh, Senator Perslick. Well, so tomorrow, is our floor since we're just after the floor will be. Yeah, we're after the floor tomorrow. Okay, because my this task force meeting may interfere. So if I'm not here for some part, that's where I am. But I okay, okay. okay. Thanks. Okay, right. yeah. right. center line. Um, quickly, I did send you each um, a copy of the uh, ALS registry bill. Oh, thank you so much. Yep. So uh, if you would like to sign on, please do. Um, it's Great. actually Senator Terenzini and I are the lead sponsors Great. and Senator Campion, if you want to be added to the lead sponsor. No, nope, whatever. Yeah. I'm just okay. so happy that you, you know, you guys yep. are taking the lead on this and getting this. I think it's just, it's terrific. It probably isn't going to be, it's not a perfect bill. <laughs> Let's just say that, but it will be perfect when we finish with it. Yeah. No, I appreciate it so much. Okay, good. Okay. So is there anyone who does not want to be on it? Well, look at it and let me know. That's, I guess, the best thing. Okay. Um, I think I think Senator Perchlick already did that. Okay. 